this menu. The pictures, they're of us. Hi, Ricky, how are you? I'm doing even better now that I get to chat with you today. You're so sweet. How's everything? You good? I'm doing so well when I have to say the one who's doing very well right now is you, my friends. I mean, I really don't know a more booked and busy person. Congrats on just all the success. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Well, of course, today we're chatting all about the menu. And man, oh man, this is a really fun movie, right? Because we're playing some heavy satire on the crazy rich world. But your character, she's going through quite a bit with this horrifying film. So can you kind of tell us a little bit about your character? Well, you're, you're talking about a woman who's really sold herself out on a lot of levels just to be in a relationship where she has money um, and a companion and nobody uh, is really home. There's nobody really there in that relationship. And I think at some level, it, there's a, a, a woman who's living in a, in a kind of sorrow that she, in, in, a, in a prison that she can't get herself out of until she does. Until she does, that's the key Until part. Until she does. Exactly. Right. And Gina, that's what I love about you, especially lately, your characters have just been so strong. And even if they're with some tough things going against them, they know how to get themselves out of it. Is it kind of fun for you to be in this chapter of your life where you play these characters that, listen, if I met any of your characters, I don't want to mess with them. <laughs> that's good. That's right. Except that you know me, so you, you'd, you'd be fine. You'd be okay. <laughs> right. Tell me about the chapter in your career you're in right now, because you are just absolutely killing it. This resume is so stacked. Has it been very humbling for you to be part of so many projects that people can't get enough of? Yeah, I, I feel really grateful. You go through periods, you know, there's a time when you don't have anything. Uh, and, you know, it's like, and then all of a sudden something really interesting will come along like this. And I just signed on to executive produce a, an animated short called Falling, which is about this uh, very um, special love story um, between two men. I have this time now where I'm looking at these different kinds of things that I really choose to do, the kinds of things that I would um, some things, many things I'm saying no to, and other things that I'm saying, yes, that's the place to go. That's where I need to be going. And that's where um, this comes in. All of these things are these choices that are very different than any anything else that I ever thought that I would do. And the menu really falls into that. Not everybody would see this story and say, wait, I have to do this. But the combination of everything in it really was incredibly compelling. And I think you see it on the screen. 